So what started off with just an iPhone that then turned into a camera, plus four broken lenses, two broken tripods, and we finally hit 10,000 subscribers, dude, and I don't think you guys understand, I didn't, I did not think that was gonna happen. I didn't even think I was gonna hit 500 subscribers, let alone 10,000, bro, oh. But this is for you guys, thank you guys so much. In order to enter the giveaway, go check out my Instagram. All you have to do, is share the post, comment your favorite disc, and then you'll have a chance to win this bag. So this is a $200 bag, of course, some Back Nine Snack Time merch, along with a dope hat, a towel, bird sauce, two vlog drop PA3s, prototype spore, and then inside we've got a bunch of discs as well. The Flex One C-Line Tactic, MVP Disc Entropy, my last Spectrum A2. I saved this for the vlog. A Lizotto Hex, I actually got an ace with this disc. A beautifully dyed Rock 3, a Back Nine Snack Time Escape, Simon Lizotte Stamped FD, a Blue Spectrum FX2, Streamline Jet, another beautifully dyed Champion Firebird, Simon Lizotte's Full Tilt, an STD, you're welcome. And last but not least eagles final cloud breaker this thing's a bomber but this is all for you guys like i said hit me up on instagram you'll see all the rules down there and again thank you guys so much i mean this is we're about to go into it but life is changing and i cannot wait to tell you guys all about it i've got a lot of stuff to talk about i literally wrote a list of things on the hand i'm just gonna be talking non-stop so something i want to get off my chest i absolutely hate the freaking wind dude it has been no joke probably two weeks straight of just nothing but 30 mile an hour winds. Oh, and I'm pissed. I've tried making comparison videos like three or four times in a row. I can't. I'll throw a disc on hyzer and then the wind just ya yeets it into another dimension. And it's just like, what can I possibly do in this wind? Like what kind of skip is that? The only positive I've gotten out of the wind is I know these mics are dope because you can't even really hear the wind, but boy, can you feel it. It's also such a tease because it's just a beautiful day. It's like 67 degrees out here. Sun is shining, clouds are moving. So you think you want to go play disc golf and then it turns out you're just playing with a paper Paper plate, bro. The discs won't do anything correctly. Hey. Oh. And then when I thought it couldn't get any worse, I just played that tournament in Oklahoma. Bro, discs were doing stuff that I didn't even know were possible. First of all, you couldn't pay me to live in Oklahoma. Second of all, the putters that come out of Oklahoma are a different breed of putters, bro. Nobody straddles. Everybody does that inline putt. They make 20 footers in the wind look crazy. Third or fourth of all, I don't even know what number I'm on. This one cat had a hundred foot approach, right? Straight into a head one. That's the basket. He throws it. It's going, it's going, it's going, and I'm not kidding, it just stops and then flies all the way back to him. How do you play in that? Like there's literally, oh, it was so aggravated. Oh, it was, that was the most frustrating disc golf tournament I've ever played by a landslide. I would rather play disc golf butt naked in like 30 degree weather with it pouring rain than to ever play in that kind of wind again. Enough about that though. Let's talk about the trip that your boy is about to go on. Me and Emily have officially bought our tickets. To Europe, we're going to Europe. We fly out May 7th. And with that being said, we're packing up, we're moving out of our house. It's kind of a mess right now. And I've got a crap ton of discs. I brought a bunch, I bought a brunt, I bought a brunt. <laughs> I bought a bunch of discs because I planned on doing a tournament. I don't have enough time. So with that being said, mystery boxes are now available on the site. Five discs for 65 bucks. You're going to get putter, mid-range, fairway, and a driver. And then the fifth disc could be something random. It could be a time lapse. It could be the new Gain and Burr FD. It's just going to be something that I have. I think all in all, the box is going to be like $110, $120 in value, but 65 bucks for you guys. Hold on. We got to lock in. I'm keeping score today because I've been doing nothing but that point system because of the wind. We are going stupid today. We're locked in. Damn it. Here. Anyways, so we're going to Europe and we're spending a little over a month there. I told you guys I was gonna write a map and put like the travel destination. I lied. I'm not, I, I ended up not doing that. I actually just wrote it all on my hand. So we're gonna be going to Madrid, then Malaga, then Italy, then Milan, then I can't read my own handwriting, Austria, Switzerland, Denmark, Sweden, and then Finland. Shout out to Nicholas Antala. So that's everywhere that we're going. Unfortunately, the entire trip isn't gonna all revolve around disc golf. For the first half, me and Emily are gonna be just kind of like a vacation with us. If there's a course, we'll pull up. I didn't even see where that went. I didn't even know I parked this. And look at the wind. Like, gee, hold on. What the heck? Oh, I don't even get the putt. It's ridiculously windy. But I got a birdie. Anyways, I'm bringing back the daily vlogs. I'm gonna be posting every single day. Like I said, the first half isn't gonna have much disc golf, but I just love making vlogs. I used to do that when I first started the channel and I absolutely, I just love making it. It's kind of, it's something different. Uh, before I even started playing disc golf, I wanted to make vlogs. I sucked at it. Now I have something to kind of record. I don't know. I just like, I just like making the videos. So you guys will get to see the entire trip. And then the second half of the trip, that's when we're bringing back some disc golf. I even signed up for a B tier tournament in Austria. Oh, swing back, baby. Now I'm not making, Oh, now I'm not making any promises, but I might record that tournament in Austria. The season's been going absolutely great without me recording videos. I think I've got like an eight cash streak, so that's something good. However, hold up, hold on, we gotta lock in. 
Oh my gosh. I think I'm willing to risk it all for the Austria trip because it's like win in Rome. Well, I guess win in Austria in this case, but I just feel like that'd be something cool to kind of capture the experience. If I play like garbage, who even cares? I'm in Austria. So I'm like 95% sure I'm gonna record the tournament. And of course, I'm gonna try to play every dope course imaginable. So please, if you have any course recommendations, let a brother know. I've been looking at the UDISC ratings up there and it's like, there'll be a course that's like 4.4 stars. And I'm like, oh shoot. And then it's like 14 holes at like a school. Don't get me wrong, it looks beautiful, but 4.4 stars, I mean, come. Come on. I almost missed that. Got a little turkey going. So they moved this pen into the long. It's straight down this hallway, 300 feet, but unfortunately you can't see it because of this tree. But you're just gonna have to take my word for it. We're going down the gap. The question is with what? Midnight Prowl 2. That's what we're gonna do. Just a nice little hyzer flip down the gap. Oh Lord. Back door. Bro, today is my day. I wanna get four in a row. Am I good? <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Satellite, excuse me. All right, here we go, peep it. It was not meant to be. So if you thought the life update ended at a Europe trip, you are wrong. I've got another trick up my sleeve. Me and Emily have officially put in our two weeks notice. We're buying a van and we are hitting the road. As soon as we get back from Europe, we are buying a van, converting it, and we are about to live the van life. Oh, that was almost a great shot. Not gonna lie, it's gonna be a little scary doing the whole van thing, especially because I'm not just rolling in dough, all right? Yes, we hit 10K subscribers. YouTube channel's doing great. The store's doing great, but this we are still kind of gambling a little bit, and I think it'll all end up working out. Just like this forehand PA3 shot. See, it all works out. The other way I'm trying to look at it is me and Emily are finally debt free. We don't have any kids. So go ahead and scratch all that bull crap that you guys keep pulling. So this is just gonna be a great opportunity to travel, live our lives while we're young. And on top of that, I'm trying to think of the van as like a little investment. Let's freaking go neat dog. Because we're buying a van and we're converting it all of ourselves, if crap doesn't work out, we'll sell the van, we'll make a little bit of money and we end up back to square one in Russellville, Arkansas. Hopefully that's not the case, but if this was a dumb decision, we wouldn't do it. So there's obviously a chance that this all can work out and I hope it does work out because I'm obviously very excited about the Europe trip, but bro, the van life, the amount of memories that we'll be able to make, the courses that I'll be able to play, the people that I can end up seeing, that's gonna be so much fun. And don't get me wrong, I love Russellville, I love these courses, but I'm definitely getting a little burnt out on playing the same two courses every single day. And I'm sure you guys are too, even though the channel's still been growing and we hit 10K, let's freaking go. But I mean, it's gonna be so nice for a little change of scenery. Not having to work is gonna be so nice. Dad, I love you, but boy, add some windows to the shop or something. I feel like I'm in prison. Let go! So yes, we're getting the van. We're hoping to leave this summer. We're thinking around the end of August. The first place we're heading to is Austin, Texas. Get over it, get over the hills. Ah. And then from Austin, we're actually gonna head east. We have a friend in Florida that we're gonna go visit. And then we're just gonna hit up the east coast. So please, again, recommendations. What courses, what states do I need to visit when heading out east? Oh, that thing is long gone. Shout out to the wind. And then we plan on doing the van thing for at least three months. And then from there, we'll kind of make a decision on whether or not we want to continue doing this. Hey, yo, I've got nothing. Eh, it was all right. But yeah, do the van for three... Huh. Do the van for three months and then just kind of decide if we like it or not because I've talked to a few people about it. Shout out to Broderick. Van life isn't easy. It's going to be a big change. So I can't fathom us not liking it, but there is still a chance. But regardless, it's still going to be a fun trip. Three months traveling around. I'll take it. Okay, that was a nice big fat bogey that I didn't need. We'll try to get it back on this bounce back. I haven't gotten this birdie in a long time. It's also ridiculously windy, so I don't think today's the day, but we might as well go for it. I'm cutting down that tree, I swear. It's a dead tree. The only purpose it has is just to swap my discs down. $300 to the individual who wants to come down and chop that tree. That one too. There is no shot we're about to go bogey bogey, right? If I make this putt, the van life works out. Oh no. Oh no, did I just jinx myself? You guys ever do that where you have like a question or something and you're like, ah, should I do it? And then you let something like a putt dictate whether or not you do it. Sometimes I do that with tweets when I'm about to say something kind of questionable and then I'm like, all right, is it even or odd on the time? And then if it's even, I won't do it. And if it's odd, I will do it. Most of the time I end up doing it regardless of the time, but yeah, random stupid fun fact about me. All right, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you guys. I'm running out of stuff to talk about. I think I've officially covered everything that is on my hand. So we're just gonna kind of free ball it for the rest of these holes. If I can have one C2 putt today, I will be happy. All right, we got a lock in. 366 feet down this little tunnel gap. You guys chew me out when I call this a tunnel. Is that not technically a tunnel though? I mean, it's got a ceiling, you've got, it doesn't matter. Going with my dark mall PD. Just gonna smack this baby on a little bit of Annie and see if we can get up to the basket. Get height, get height, get height. 
C2 putt coming in. Here we go, baby. These guys were just watching that throw. Thankfully, they saw that one and not the previous two holes because I just got another subscriber. It wasn't C2. It was only 30 feet. Dude, I gotta figure out whether or not it is worth jumping or just standing still. Cause some days when I jump, they're locked in. Other days they're not. I need to figure something out. After AB had that 16 down round, somebody commented on my video and was like, bro, just putt like he putts, stop jump putting. You think it's that easy? You think that if I'm just go, oh, let me putt like AB, the world changes? If that was the case, I'd have been doing that a hot minute ago. All right, 280, Envy, we get in the ace. A little high, not gonna lie, does it drop? No. Last one. If it's not good, I won't put it in. It wasn't good, but I still put it in. I tricked you. All right, I've got a 40 footer here. We'll test out your AB theory. Pretty sure he step putts, right? Is it right foot? Yeah, that's what you do, right? Here we go, shout out to AB. Hell no. Are you kidding me? Hold on, let me try that one more time. I might tinker around with it. Might. Hadouken. I forgot all about this hole. So the gap down the middle, but ugly. The route over the road, just as ugly. But they finally cleared up all this crop on the left next to this tree. So there is a forehand line. It's still kind of ugly, but I have been begging them to do this for a while now and the day has finally arrived. So first time ever throwing the forehand gap with the prototype DD3. Didn't hit the gap. So technically that doesn't count. Second prototype DD3. First time ever hitting the gap with a prototype DD3. Let's freaking go. Damn. That still works out though, that's a C2 putt. The middle gap and over the road gap would never. We are definitely taking this shot because my channel, my rules, and I wanna test out this stepper. I wanna give it a chance. I'm afraid of all the people calling me on a footfall, but who cares? Don't hit my tripod. Oh my gosh. The sucky part is like, I'm not good at like this inline putt, so I can't fathom this actually helping me. I'll try it. The next week, all my C2s, I'll do steppers and we'll see. So I was gonna play 18 holes, but I ran out of things to talk about. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with all my C2 putts. However, we are gonna go three off the top. And if I stick the island all three times, you guys have to buy a mystery box. I don't make the rules. That's just the cards you're dealt. First shot with the A2. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Long, but we're on the island. This wind is picked up, yikes. MD1, I'm gonna try to play this one straight at it, but I am worried about the finish at the end. Now finish. Not that much though. Not that much! We're good. Where, where did this come from? I'm 16 holes in, what the heck? All right, for our pyro, oh, fun fact, I threw this in for an eagle at the tournament this weekend. It was like 250 feet. Last shot, please stick the island. Boy, speak about nose up. That's not in the water, that's not in the water. Hey, it didn't go in the water. And if you don't buy a mystery box, obviously I don't care. Thank you guys so much for the 10K. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.